This is a brief overview of the course Economics of Organization so students can gauge whether they have an interest in taking the class. Um, let's begin with talking about the subject matter. I'm going to give a high level view of what will be covered in the course. One is uh, Due to one of the founders of the field, Herb Simon, the firm is not a black box. The world is not simple and abstract. It is complex. In a complex world, how do the many people who work in the organization decide on goals, make choices, coordinate actions? Um, Ronald Coase is another one of the founders of the field. Uh, he asked the question, should the firm go to the market or produce internally. Transactions in the marketplace can be costly. This is something we don't talk about in intermediate micro where we think of transactions as being free. Trans when transactions costs are low, going to the market is fine. Otherwise, you need a different alternative. Oliver Williamson, yet another founder of the field, what rules and structures govern the organization? In anticipation of opportunistic behavior, well-designed rules can promote efficiency. Um, poor rules encourage bu bureaucracy. George Akerlof, I would say, is a next generation guy. Um, he also happens to be the husband of Janet Yellen, who is the current Fed chair. Um, but as a rather fundamental question, how do organization members come together as a cohesive unit? Borrowing from sociology, Akerlof posited a system of reciprocal favors, which he called partial gift exchange. On campus, you might call that collegiality. People act collegial to one another. That's how work gets done. The textbook for the course is by Milgram and Roberts. When I was a graduate student at Northwestern, they were faculty in the business school. Now they are both faculty in the business school at Stanford. Uh, we will also look at another text, this one by Bowman and Deal. This is a non-economics text, but it is required. Uh, it gives some insight into screw-ups, inefficiencies, and bad management. Econ tends to not think of those issues, but they are important in organizations. Uh, I don't expect you to read this. This is clickable, and when it the click works, and you won't be able to see the whole thing, but it launches to the website from last fall. Um, so I'm going to close that now. Um, so if you want to do further investigation, you can look at last year's website. Uh, we have two types of homework in the course. This is also clickable and it's from the syllabus. One type is blogging or what is called writing to learn. In this case, we're going to do the writing to learn online. The purpose of this is to bring your own experience into the topics that we are discussing um, and then also have the writing inform the ensemble class discussion. Uh, the other type of homework is on the math modeling. This will be done in Excel. You don't really have to have knowledge of Excel beforehand, but you do need to have a working copy of Excel on PC or Mac. That is fine. Uh, in class, this is a picture of room 223 DKH, which is the classroom. Uh, it's kind of cozy in there. We will have mostly ensemble class discussions. Some straight presentation on technical things by me and then small group to work on the math modeling so a mixture of those if you have any questions um, you can send me an email and i'd be happy to answer those thanks for